what's up guys welcome back again to my channel my name is vicky if you're seeing my face for the very first time please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a video and please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below thereby helping my ministry helping my channel to grow because when the youtube algorithm sees that there is engagement they help me post my videos for other people to see thank you so much because i know you will do it and please don't forget to go check me out on my personal channel where I post videos on motherhood, lifestyle, and vlogs, and everything in between. Please go check me out there. So guys, moving on, let me just go straight to the point and not blabbing right now. What happened yesterday in Big Brother Niger house? I don't even understand what this house may have been about, what they've been up to. Like, for some reason, they are just trying to play hanky-panky with us. You know what I'm trying to say? So, yesterday, hmm. Something actually happened though that we did not know about and maybe because Kai already did not show us. Oh, oh, okay. That part of Big Brother Ninja House, they actually do not show it. And then what we found out that we, from the conversation Neo was having with Eric, he was actually telling Eric of how Nengi actually went to have her part with Ozo. I, see, even when me I heard it, I just increased the volume of my TV. Like I'm a more mistress than I am now. I just increased the volume of my TV so that nothing will actually pass me by in this particular conversation. Nengi um, Neo was telling um, um Eric that Nengi actually went into the bathroom with Ozo, and I'm like, wow, really? What has this housemaid been up to? So actually, the rumor has been going around in the house, and then. We've been wondering, ah, how did this happen? Is this true? Are you sure it's true? Or Neo is just a busybody that has always been, I don't know, for some reason, Neo these days has just been putting himself out there trying to speak for Nengi or speak against Nengi. I don't even know where, who Neo is actually in support of. I don't know if Neo is in support of Nengi or Dora or what, but he's just like trying to play friendship with Ozo and also trying to bring that relationship to light or trying to make sure that relationship actually works so for some reason when he said that we were like me i was like ah, how, are you sure this is true or this is one of news talk or, or just trying to maybe make um also and uh, make eric feel like or make us the viewers feel like okay there's something actually going on i was like okay don't know why and now one way or the other you know things doesn't hide in the bb ninja house nothing is hidden under the sun and then in the night when dorothy and also went to the room to sleep. I don't even know if I would say that that particular um, HOH house will be the gossip hub of the house for this season. They started talking about, or they were talking of something else, and then all of a sudden Dora started talking about Nengi. And then also was now confirming what Neo actually said that Nengi actually came into the bath when she when he was taking his bath. And then the also um, then Dorothy was like, "So what did you say to her?" I said, "Not say anything to her, but he just finished taking his bath and he went out." And I was like, "Hey, hey!" And I, because I've been seeing it on Twitter, they've been dragging Nengi, for, saying that she went into the bathroom with also and now we're not. And me, I'm like, "God, we did not get this gist. So where was I?" as in only for me to find out that okay this is actually true because i was thinking because after Neil said that and that was when he started dragging her and then i was thinking that ah jesus christ god help me <laughs> you understand help me get this information for my people here also just later confirmed it to us that yes she actually went into the bath with him and i'm like what was nengi thinking nengi what were you thinking as in what was in your head I don't know because I don't get why a man will be taking his bath and then you went into the bathroom with him. What are you thinking? Are you trying to give him green light? Because it's because Neil was trying to say that she is acting on another thing with Ozo and coming out to the camera to play something else for us, you get. And I'm like, oh my girl, choose a hustle, just be straight with it. If you want to have something to do with Ozo, just come out straight and just face it and we all will support you in our own way. Moving on, that was just what happened and we are still watching the show. And then I just woke up this morning to just realize that Ebuka had an interview with Katrina and Lilo. Ebuka was talking to Katrina and then he was just asking Katrina, so what's up, how is she feeling? She said she's feeling better than she was on Sunday. Ebuka now asked her, so what was her game plan going into the house? Katrina was like, okay, that before she even went into the house, her friends and family have been talking to her about her boss signature. And I'm like, really? So they've been talking to you and you refuse to change. Now see where it has gotten you. When she went into the house, 
her game plan was to be all nice and sweet to people you understand but unfortunately it did not work for her because her personality played out normally how she is and we can now later ask her that so what what's up with the she and dorothy and lucy's um, relationship she said they are sweet people that she actually hopes that if they come out they will still be friends that she really likes them as a friend and she hopes they feel the same way about her you get so we can later ask her that so what's up so uh, you we were talking about um a particular housemate nengi you said you it, it comes up as, as a gossip or bashing and then katrina was like she started life very early and she understands the game nengi is actually playing so that's just it she knows what nengi is trying to do all the tricks nengi is trying to play that what she was saying was just how it is and to the ultimate question that you all have been waiting to hear people can now ask her so what is your relationship with praise and she was like ah when they got into the house after they started introducing themselves that she actually liked praise based on the fact that praise was so sincere with what he does for a living and she was really impressed about it in that he has a child and a fiance and he just she just likes that and then Ebuka now reminded her of the friday night game that they actually pre played the truth or their game you get and was now like there was a clip going on about so can she explain that and guess what katrina said Katarina said that she they actually were cuddling and they actually were just um cuddling that nothing actually happened. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Katrina has said that nothing actually happened and we have to believe her. But one thing I'm still saying is that why was she explaining um, praises uh, Bula to she and Dorothy and Lucy describing it how he's not very good as he is. So what were you people doing? Were you people, people playing Ludo or you people were playing on chalk? For you to know that a uh, praises bula was not working i don't understand well katrina has actually uh, denied it is our word against her so let us just take it like that we hope that praise comes out too and actually denies it because that is what the the game they are actually playing so katrina has said that nothing actually happened so ebuka was asking her so what happens moving forward she was like she came back from south africa early last year to actually open like buy a property and open her company but she actually wanted to sell her name first that's why she actually auditioned for the show and so far she has she has she, she thinks she has actually sold the name katrina and the next thing she'll be doing now is to buy a property and go into her clothing brand like a clothing line that's what we are expecting of katrina and that's just it and then to the ultimate ebuka now went to interview lilo hmm. lilo was now telling ebuka that ah that when she went into the house she she wasn't she didn't have the intention to do what she actually did though but she saw eric uh, attractive and uh, that eric yeah uh, just um, his sweet words got over her and ebuka was like you are now the way you are sounding because the way she was sounding she was sounding as if um Eric was the one that distracted her. But Ebuka was saying that the case, the reverse was the, was the case because we actually noticed that you were the one that was chasing after Eric. That's what Ebuka was telling um, her. And she was like, yes, that she was the one that went for a friendship. She actually went for a friendship with Eric and not a relationship because there was a time she had a conversation with Erica and she was saying that Erica is Eric's uh, girlfriend and she is Eric's sister and Eric was like no Erica is my twinny and you are my babe and all those sweet words from Eric was just getting into her head Ebuka reminded her she going to talk to Biggie and Biggie was very straightforward and honest with her telling her to face the game and make sure nothing distracts her but six minutes later she went under the duvet again with Eric she said that um, she feels that when she's with Eric, she loses control of herself. But when she's alone, she actually thinks straight. And I'm like, Erica, well done. You don't think when you're with man. You see you and 85, see you see 85 million era. And see you see man. You chose man over 85 million era. Now you see yourself. You see yourself. You're out now. You did not even sell yourself in any way. Because you said you, I don't know if you said you were a dietitian. Or you said you wanted, you want to, you're, you're now telling us now in this interview that you want to go into your a clothing brand you did not even sell it to us all we were seeing was mm, 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 up and down you and um, eric going up and down and we did not see anything that you did that we can even say that okay this is what lilo came to sell here even if she did not win the 85 million no she said she was distracted that eric actually took advantage of the fact that she was he was stripping for him or like basically she just said eric took advantage of the fact that 
she knew he he was sweet to her and she was falling for it so eric took advantage of her and i'm like oh my god really he did not take advantage of you you distracted yourself and you fell for it and you just messed yourself up that is to my own opinion you get and then ed booker was like did you regret the relationship she was like oh uh, yeah but uh, she was just just like she has always been she can't even answer any question very correctly or she cannot even answer any question in a way that somebody can even understand that girl i don't even know what is wrong with this girl you get so that's just how she was doing saying he was sounding like eric took advantage of her madam eric did not take advantage of you to me eric did not take advantage of you because you refused even after big brother advised you you had a week to actually make up your mind you had a week to re-strategize but you refused to re-strategize so that's just it anyway that's what actually happened and today the housemates have started practicing about the attacks and i'll be bringing you more of the gist more of the updates in the evening i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next